Hey guys, recently I made these turkey and coriander samosas to go as a side dish for a curry night and they worked really, really well. I started off by chopping up an onion, followed by two bird's eye chilies. Finally chopped them up and set them aside ready for our frying. I then finely grated ginger, about 30 grams, and five cloves of garlic. I then halved the lemon because I'll need the juice of half the lemon later on. I then ground up some coriander seeds, about a tablespoon's worth, and then put them into a cup to, and set aside for later. I then ground up about a teaspoon's worth of cumin seeds and added them to a separate cup and mixed in a teaspoon of garam masala and a teaspoon of chili powder. Then I heated two tablespoons of vegetable oil in a pan and added the onion when it was hot and cooked away until it was just starting to soften. And then I added the chili, the fresh chili, followed by the coriander powder and mix it up. Then I added some turkey mince, 500 grams. You could also use chicken mince or corn if you wanted to make it vegetarian. Cook for 10 minutes before adding the garam masala, chili and cumin powder, followed by the juice of half a lemon and mix it up. Then add your garlic and ginger, followed by about a teaspoon of salt. And mix that and cook until the mince starts to brown. Once it's browned, take off the heat and allow it to cool completely. Once it's cooled, chop up some fresh coriander leaves, finely chop them, and then add them to the mixture, the cool mixture now, and just mix it up. Then lay out a rectangular sheet of phyllo and brush half of it with melted butter. Then fold over the unbuttered half onto it to make it stick together. And then cut into three equal strips. This part is kind of fiddly and you might be afraid of tearing the phyllo or you know that you might be a bit too rough with it but just don't worry about it, you can always stick it together in the end anyway. Then spoon a heaped teaspoon of the mixture onto the end of one strip and fold the corner down on top of the mixture to form a triangle, like that. And then fold over again and again until you run out of phyllo but you should be left with a little bit sticky out at the end and brush that with butter to just make it adhere to the rest of the parcel. And set aside on a non-stick surface, a sheet of parchment or something. And then repeat the process again with the next strip. Fold the top corner down, form a triangle. Fold that triangle over the exposed side again. And again until you run out of phyllo. And you're going to have to repeat this process for the remaining uh, five sheets. Lay them on a parchment lined freezer proof container. Make sure they don't touch because if they touch they'll stick together and break apart. If you have multiple layers separate each layer with another sheet of parchment. You can then freeze them and later on bake them from frozen at 200 degrees celsius for 20 to 25 minutes or bake them as they are now for about 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Just brush them either way um, with olive oil and that's it. They're really, really nice, really tasty, so crunchy as well. I like to serve them with this writer you see there. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for the full recipe, check out my blog on www.rookiecook.org.